welcome to perfect garden and i'll tell you what is an iq the measurement of intelligence is a continuous topic and one that often sparks debate among educators and psychologists is intelligence even measurable they ask and if so so its measurement important when it comes to predicting success and failure some who study the relevance of intelligence claim that there are many types of intelligence and maintain that one type is not necessarily better than another students who have a high degree of spatial intelligence and a lower degree of verbal intelligence for instance can be just as successful as anybody else the difference have more to do with determination and confidence than one single intelligence factor but decades ago leading educational psychologists came to accept the intelligence quotient as the most acceptable single measuring stick for determining cognitive competence so what is the iq anyway the iq is a number that ranges from 0 to 200 plus and it is a ratio that is derived by comparing mental age to chronological chronological age actually the intelligence quotient is defined as 100 times the mental age mental age ma divided by the chronological age ca iq is equal to 100 ma or ca from geocities.com one of the most notable proponents of the iq is linda s gottfredson a scientist and educator who published a highly regarded article in scientific american gottfredson asserted that intelligence as measured by iq test is the single most effective predictor known of individual performance at a school and on the job another leading figure in the study of intelligence dr arthur jensen professor emeritus of educational psychology at university of california berkeley has created a chart that spells out the practical implications of various iq scores for instance Jensen stated that people with scores from 89 to 100 would be employable as store clerks. 111 to 120 have the ability to become policemen and teachers. 121 to 125 should have the ability to excel as professors and managers. Whereas 125 and higher demonstrate the skill necessary for eminent professors, executives and editors. So now what is high IQ the average IQ is 100 so anything over 100 is higher than average however most models suggest that a genius IQ starts around 140 opinions about what constitutes a high IQ actually vary from one professional to another now where is IQ measured IQ tests in many forms and come with varied results if you are interested in coming up with your own iq score you can choose from a number of free tests they are available online or you can schedule a test with professional educational psychologist so thank you please subscribe to my channel perfect guardian and give your comments